right, what is up, everybody? Mad Hooter here. Um, I was fiddling around on my YouTube channel, and I was actually getting ready to make a uh, make another Saints video because I've started this thing. Uh, I call it "That's What's Up" for my Saints fans and my Saints page, and. Um, I uh, was just fooling around on YouTube and, and just uh, making sure my channel was all in line, which it's usually not because YouTube's as small as my channel is, they're still trying to get me off of it and they've demonetized everything. Anyway, that's either here or not. Uh, I'm getting, for some strange reason, I'm getting the Young Turks uh, alerts. They're, this stuff is starting to show up in my feed, whatever, and... You know, I love hate watching the Young Turks, but, um, you know, I'm by no means a fan. I'm a hate fan. Uh, so, uh, this video popped up and I knew it was going to be just complete, pure cuckery. Uh, especially just because of the clickbait headline. So, here it is. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Trump immediately regrets pledging a million to Harvey Fund. Well, how fucking dare he? How dare he? You know, try try to say that he's going to help, you know, cuz obviously he you know, he's he's a uh, crooked, you know. He's he's going to He's just in it to make money, right? Or something. I don't know. Whatever. Let's see what they come up with. Let's let's go on a little Young Turks ride here. By the way, look at this fucking beard. I mean, already is this <laughs> I'm a beta male with my little beard and my sports coat. <sighs> Please. Announced that in addition to the uh, federal and state level funding that will go to the hurricane recovery uh, in Texas and Louisiana, he will also personally donate one million dollars. Maybe we'll see about maybe. it. Because maybe because when uh, his representative Sarah Huckabee Sanders was asked by a reporter if she knew whether Trump's donation would be, quote, coming from his own money or from the Trump Foundation, Sanders said, I haven't had a chance to, to do that, to find out. She also couldn't say where the money was going to be donated to, <laughs> or basically any information that would lead you to believe that his assurance that he's going to donate this money is anything more. Okay, so maybe he doesn't know exactly where the best charity is or how best to um, spend that dollar. Uh, but what I can tell you is now that Trump said this, he has to cut the check. He's got to, he's got to go out and, and, and sign his name and it's got to say Trump foundation. It can't be something else. He has to write this check. Otherwise they're just going to fucking crucify him over this shit. Trump's not a complete idiot. He knows that. Of course, these people think that he is, but they'll also say that he's a, you know, uh, he has to be a complete idiot, but they're also going to say, that, you know, he's some kind of uh, maniacal, evil genius out to stomp people out and and brown people and, oh my god, women. More than a, a offhand comment that isn't going to amount to anything. Um, now, whether it comes from his money or the organization's money is not an academic question. Uh, Trump hasn't personally donated to his charity since 2008. <gasps> he might well not remember no. that it exists. Now, it does... <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He might not even know that it exists. Really, dude? Come on. Bullshit. Really? He might not know that it exists. And if we're going to start splitting hairs over who is donating money to their own goddamn charity, how much money is Obama spending on his charities? Is Obama reaching in his back pocket for any of that? How much money did Hillary out of, actually pull out of her pocket for her goddamn Haitian fund? Oh, no. She fucking lined her pockets full of that shit. So don't fucking give me some kind of virtue signaling garbage about who is spending money on their personal charities. These people are just liars. Get money donated from other people. And so perhaps he'll feel free to donate a million of someone else's dollars to the hurricane recovery, but I wouldn't even guarantee that. Um, in addition, about uh, if you want to get into the who idea would, of whether Sarah okay. Huckabee Sanders is let's, at all. Let's say that Trump actually did that. Who would give a shit? 
Oh my God, Trump took money from his charitable donation to give to the goddamn hurricane. From he, we have to impeach him. Oh, he's just terrible. He took money from his charitable donation or foundation to give money to people that need it in Texas. How? Oh, just the uh, the. To do the Paul Joseph Washington's. Well, imagine my shock. I'm all sure that this is actually going to happen. Look at her response to another question. She said, uh, he actually asked that I check with the folks in this room, the press room, since you are very good at research and have been doing a lot of reporting into the groups and organizations that are best and most effective in helping and providing aid. And he'd love some suggestions from the folks here. And I'd be happy to take those. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think I think Trump's probably setting him up here. He's doing exactly what I was saying because they're gonna be like, uh, you know, oh, how dare you know Trump pick this particular uh, charitable donation or he sent the money there and it's just wrong because they're blah 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 and they're you know they're connected to some kind of racist scheme and and somebody once had a great grandfather you know that's running the organization that was a racist. <laughs> They're going to say that. So he's saying, why don't you tell me where we should spend the money? So he can, he's, he's, he's pitching up a big old grapefruit for him to hit. <laughs> and he's a, he's, he's going to field it like a champ. Watch, watch. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, he said the same thing. Look at after, Anna's bitch uh, face, superstar bitch Shane. bun. And he, he, in fact, he promised Governor Chris Christie's wife that he would give a million dollars. He said, just tell me what the number is and I'll write the check. How much does the check need to be? Just tell me and I'll send it. And Oops. never happened. Guess how much he and, uh, uh, Except no, he actually okay. took his the own guy, money it, and he bought an 18-wheeler full of shit and he took it down to Louisiana. And people were scolding him over that. How dare he get involved? He's just creating more chaos by being down there. <laughs> these people just you can't win with these kind of people because everything they do it's just when they've targeted somebody it's just they're bad anything they do it's bad and we have to fucking hammer it i mean and they, they try to sound like they're being reasonable but they were they're completely unreasonable they're just so far off the deep end and look at chink's face as he's just like let me let me make sure that I'm coming up with some random fucking bullshit here to, to try to make it make some sense. It's a notorious pathological lie. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Back that far because <laughs> Three of the most bullshit motherfuckers in what we would call news. Calling somebody else a pathological liar? Pots and kettles, bro. Pots and kettles. Earlier this year, he said he would donate a million dollars to a veterans group That's after right. repeatedly pissing them off. Uh, okay, right there. Really Fuck fought. you, because Trump is actually restructuring the whole VA, and all of these people are super pumped about it. He's doing a good, good thing for the fucking VA. So, blow that shit right out of your asshole. Pull it up on that months later. And uh, only in response to that investigation did he, he did finally it. donate the money when the weight of public shame uh, was on him. But what he wouldn't have really public shame? Do you think Donald Trump gives a fuck about public shame? Really? You're going to shame him into peeling off checks? I fucking doubt it. He doesn't have to. He could go, fuck you. You don't need my money. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> he could do that. Who, what other politician ever, what other president ever has peeled? You said, you know what? I'm going to reach into my pockets because most of them, they're pretty deep by the time they're fucking president. They're not anywhere as rich as Donald Trump is. But how many of them are pulling in their pockets and saying, you know what? I'm going to give some money here. How many of them have funded their own goddamn campaigns? Done it otherwise. But on that one, he goes, oh, so you fake news. I was going to do it anyway. Like, you know, it's like the classic uh, liar. Go, oh, go, I was going to do it anyway, right? <laughs> These people are like the kids in junior high, you know? They just gather up in groups and they're like, you know, look at look at Jimmy over there. He's such a fucking chode. Look at him. He's a he fucking, he's a marching band. What a fucking fag nerd. What a nerd. 
or it's the other guy. Well, look at him. He's all preppy. You know, he's got he's got jibbo jeans and Z Cavaricis. Look at him. He's part of the one. He's part of the one percent. <laughs> you can't win with these motherfuckers. But in that case, at least after the shame, he gave the money. For Sandy, he said, I'm going to give a million dollars. He never did. Not a dollar. What? Nothing. What I don't understand. Bullshit. That's a fucking straight up lie. Like... Trump, Donald Trump went down there with fucking 18 wheeler load of shit to give out to people. Himself in the same mess over and over again. You don't want to donate the money. You haven't donated the money unless there was tremendous public pressure forcing you to do so. How about let's put some fucking pressure on you, Miss Nose Job, to fucking donate some goddamn money. Why don't you get out of your fucking ivory tower in goddamn California and drive the fuck down to Houston and shake some hands with some freaking soaking wet brown people that have had to swim their fucking ways out of the goddamn neighborhood. Why don't you give them some of your money? These people just stink. So stop saying that you are no. going to personally donate any money. Look, I get it. There are people who will fall for it. Let me just go right here. Anna Kasparin, you don't get anything. The only thing you get is the scent in the room from the other motherfuckers' farts and your own blending together and wafting into your nose at a blistering pace. That is the only thing that you get, is your own bullshit. You don't get the big picture. You don't get how these people live. You don't understand that we're taking people from Mexico and just uh, reverting them to another version of poor? A slightly better? Okay, so they live in a slightly smaller shit pile than the one that they came from in fucking Mexico. You don't get shit like that. You don't get it thinker they won't read the follow-ups they won't know what really goes on and they'll think oh what a stand-up guy he's donating this money but look the vast majority of people who are skeptical of his claims do follow up and they do know that he's lying about it and not only that uh bullshit because there's a vast amount of people that do check the shit that donald trump says and check him on it but they're not following your narrative just because they don't go with this this feelings shit and oh my god he didn't automatically say kkk he didn't immediately say and that's why motherfuckers like joe rogan i watch his podcast but when joe rogan starts this shit he'll come out and he'll say uh reasonable shit and then he'll just go off on this bullshit of like you know the way that he said you know on all sides or whatever fuck you dude these people are splitting hairs over stupid shit. Just because it's trendy and cool to say, fuck the president. That's what it is. And especially, you know, Joe Rogan, you're in fucking L.A. Blow it out your ass, dude. You've got the same scent. You're, you're being a pseudo-intellectual intellectual when you do this shit. Kiss my entire ass. Don't claim other people are fucking flip-floppers when you're doing it yourself. There were veterans that were very supportive of him during the election, and now they're kind of raising their eyebrows and realizing, oh my god, he's actually not interested in supporting us whatsoever. He used us as props. <laughs> so he's really just hurting himself. Bullshit. He's not interested in helping it at all. He mobilized fucking FEMA and the National Guard before the storm even hit. And he told him, as soon as we can go in, you're going in. We're not going to do what we did in Katrina. We have learned our lesson. Everybody everybody learned their lesson over Katrina because it was a complete fuck up from top to bottom. I mean, we were taking people out of asbestos houses and putting them in asbestos trailers. What the fuck? I don't want to give him advice to help him. So keep doing you, boo, right? <laughs> Keep doing you, boo. Keep doing you, boo. <laughs> oh, damn. I wish Hard Bastard would watch one some of my videos, man. <laughs> this, maybe I'll send him a link to this and he'll do one. and He'll get vastly more views than I ever get. Just because he is what he is and people like his fucking channel order. But... <laughs>
Everybody remember the Anna Kasperi and, and culture debate where she's like, do you, boo? Do you, boo? Fuck you. But at the same time... Oh, wait, my fucking original point is she's like, oh, I don't want to say anything to help the fucking president. What? What? You hate him that much that you wouldn't say, hey, Donald, maybe you should do this. I think that this would be a better idea. No. But you gotta go and fucking do the fucking thing where you're like, ah, we fucking hate him. Yeah. <laughs> what? This is preposterous. This is how far out in the fucking lunatic space cloud that these people are. It's a carnival of thoughts. Time, like it's amazing how astonishingly stupid he is well look I, I don't know about that so let me let me explain why he does it to an, le, a literal answer to your question uh first of all in the past when he was a celebrity no one ever followed up so he would say I'm giving <laughs> dude donald trump has peeled off fucking he's given money to fucking kids on what was it oprah or whatever i might have to pull up that fucking clip but donald trump has given thousands of dollars to kids just out of the blue like straight up oprah style like you get a car you get a car you get a check you've done very good very proud of you you're a great kid he's done that what the fuck are you doing assholes now i'm not trying to say that tr trump is the is the the god here but geez man can't we just be fucking honest for fucking once a million dollars no one bothered to check six months later or a year later oh that's the other thing trump when everybody pulls out this well you know trump he's a reality tv star or whatever. no the motherfucker's been around for 40 years building his brand he has more money than y'all know what to do with ever did give the million dollars and he would get headlines donald trump uh, sometimes That's they really say offers a million dollars sometimes they say gives a million dollars and he says he never got caught on his lies he thought there's no consequences mm -hmm. every time i get this wonderful benefit of great publicity for myself of course and i seem like a wonderful person <laughs> and then i never give the money that's no cause these idiot reporters never check out now it's different because you're the idiot reporters you mean your pals Cheng? your pals Chunk Gogurt. What the fuck are you talking about? See, this is just all farts and a stiff breeze. President, you were running for president, people found out. But now the problem is it's become pathological. That's why I call him a pathological liar. He can't help himself. Yeah. If you, like, if I had him here in this room and, like, you say, hey, whatever is. What are you going to do, Chunk? Really? You're gonna be? Oh, you're gonna make a big stand against the, the crazy, uh, dog whistling racist Trump? You really gonna give him? You're gonna give him a what for, huh, Trump? Please. Trump would probably own you in a face-to-face -face fucking matchup. It could be a mug in front of him, but no, there isn't. As long as it suits his purposes, right? Yeah. And so, is your hair orange? No, it's not. It's black. Right? He can't help himself because he's had over 70 years of lying with no consequence. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then finally, one the third part of, of why he does it what? is because there is some logic in it. It's actually what the Pentagon does a lot. It's it's because of what I've, I'll just invent a term right now. Disproportionate headlines. So Disproportionate headlines? What? Well, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone here. Disproportionate headlines? Are you fucking kidding me, Jake? You guys are the fucking lords of disproportionate fucking headlines. Overblown clickbait bullshit. And how do we get from Donald Trump giving a million dollars to hurricane relief to the fucking Pentagon? They kill civilians. The Pentagon comes out super strong and says, it's not civilians. Because they know that's the only day anybody's going to pay attention. Yeah. And so all the headlines will say, not civilians. Pentagon Bullshit. Says, not Pentagon civilians. says not civilians. That's right. right. Yeah. And then, when we find out, six days later or six weeks later, Pentagon will say, oh, yeah, well, maybe it was. And, you know, it was a little bit. And we're still looking into it. That goes in page A17 or A27 of the paper. It never makes it yeah. onto TV. They're way past that story. And then when you call them out on the line later, the Pentagon goes, no, six <laughs> weeks later, I get a correction. 
And that's Donald Trump 101. Trump gives a million dollars. By the time you do the correction, that's Hurricane Harvey's past, <laughs> Sandy's past. Well, nobody called him out on Sandy Bullshit. Until now. We also, I mean, we, we have that in this exact thing in his family. So uh, he what, said he's going to give the money. There's no proof he's going to. His son, uh, the, Eric or JoJo or whatever his name is, he what? goes and says, uh, seen as. You can't even get the fucking names of the of Trump's kids right, but you're gonna fucking throw a dart at him? You fucking din- disingenuous neck bearded fuck. Never gonna report it. Fake news. CNN had already reported on it three hours early earlier. I don't think a lot of people pay attention to him because look at his face. But he said it and the supporters <laughs> will hear it and think, oh, fake news CNN. Nobody pays attention to him. You, what are you talking about? You people are constantly fucking crying about Trump's goddamn Twitter post. Nobody's paying attention to him. You are paying attention to him. You've got your magnifying glass out on Donald Trump and satellites fucking hovering over him. You are fucking goddamn. You are paying attention to him so much. It's ridiculous. You go to bed at night thinking about what Trump said and you wake up in the morning going, what the fuck did Donald Trump say? And when CNN later says, hey, we totally reported on this, even though we probably shouldn't have because there was no proof of it, they're not going to hear that because they don't watch CNN. And so it works really well for him. But I want to contrast uh, Donald Trump. Nobody watches little, CNN, by uh, the way. Weenie, Nobody. Fucking, rich. what isn't uh, Yogi Bear and shit is getting more fucking ratings than goddamn CNN? I just can't wait. People are pumping money into CNN to prop them up. I don't think that the advertisers are really propping them up anymore. I think money's coming from... So I'm just speculating here, and I don't have any hard proof, but I'm pretty sure that money is coming in from somewhere to keep CNN going. I mean, because a lot of people aren't buying this shit. A lot of people are just aren't watching it. And MSNBC, MSNBC right behind them. I mean, just the amount of just puke. That comes comes out of them. Fucking Don Lemon, Rachel Maddow. Good lord. <clears throat> I can't wait to see the next Keith Oberman video, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's just... it's. Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's so over the top that... that it's... Uh, I can't help but laugh. Sorry. Okay, I'm getting off subject here. Let's go. As he says he is. It's another reason why he continually says he's going to donate a million dollars because that sounds like something a rich person would do. And he sees actual rich charitable charitable people do it, and he wants to do it. So you have what? him saying he's going to give a million dollars and probably never actually will. What? There are people who are raising a lot of money. Uh, uh, once again, how much money are you giving to charity, you fuck? Show me. Show me some checks. All three of you get out on the air and write a goddamn check on TV and hand it to somebody. So... Uh, athlete from the the region, JJ Watt, is a football player, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think he's a I know. football player, right? Oh, he's a football player. Anyway, he decides to help uh, organize for fundraising, and so he sets a goal of uh, he wants to raise two hundred thousand uh, dollars for the effort, which is a ton yeah, of money, badass. of course. And he's not as rich as Donald Trump says he is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just love how they keep going with this. Donald Trump is not as rich as he says he is. You don't fucking know. The motherfucker has airplanes with his name on it. You don't have that, do you? I'm pretty sure you have a fucking three or four year old goddamn Prius. Asshole. What an idiot. And he does raise his $200,000, but he effed up because he just kept raising money after the $200,000. Oh, that was, that was terrible. <laughs> he, he just kept raising money. And uh, this graphic's going to be a little bit out of date. Uh, you're going to see the most recent um, number for that. And that is over $15 million. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay, let me... Oh... Let's just, I want to hear what More than one and a half million more than I saw uh, first thing this morning. And it continues uh, to go up. It will continue to go up. And that is, that's going to help yes. so many people's lives. And you can yeah. see it right there. Yeah. You don't have to take the word of a pathological liar. It's an actual <laughs> empathic human being raising. I love this pathological liar. What the fuck are you talking about? You lying turd money and uh we've got a little bit of a video of him explaining what it's going to be used for here okay 
Do you know how you're going to go about it? Anderson so my Cooper. first phase is what I'm doing is this weekend, my teammates and I, we have semi-trucks rolling in from out of town uh, that we've filled up. We have about nine semi-trucks that are going to come into town, and we have those all filled with stock supplies, water, food, clothing, uh, yeah. everything. Kick so ass. we're going to give that out this weekend. That's our first step. Uh, and then I'm going to regroup after this weekend because obviously, like I said, I was planning for 200000 and now with a new plan um, for multi-multi-millions, I'm going to make sure that I get with the people it's that badass. get Katrina and that learn from Katrina uh, so that I can make sure I do it right because with these people trusting yes. me with their money I want to make sure that I don't do it hastily I want to do it exactly the right way and I want people to know that that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time to make sure I do it right yeah because I want to do right by these people that need it and I also very, want to do right by the people that trust me with their money yeah. very good point so he says we learned our lesson in Katrina we're not going to do that we want to make sure that we do it right and we so what's the fucking problem with that nothing okay but here's the deal they don't understand JJ Watt because these motherfuckers don't know shit about fucking football. They could give two shits who fucking J.J. Watt is. J.J. Watt is easily one of the most popular players in the whole fucking league right now. And he happens to play for the team in the city that's having most of the trouble. I mean, Houston is a target, but all there's a huge surrounding area that was affected by this shit. Everybody's got their thing at Houston, 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 Houston. And J.J. Watt is a very popular player, and that's why he's raising money. If Tom Brady, if something happened in Boston and Tom Brady said, I'm raising money, they would have people coming out of the woodworks to give money. This is, this is a good thing, and J.J. Watt is using his fame to do it. What's the problem? Uh, somehow there's going to be some Trump issue here. Yeah, and you saw there uh, in the graphic, uh, you carrying uh, it's J slash JJ Watt. You can go there or you can Google it if you want to uh, also donate. So JJ Watt, arguably the best defense player in the NFL. I have no idea. I was going to say that. I just didn't think we had time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, obviously plays for the Houston Texans, which John was also going to tell you. Uh, and, I didn't know that. <laughs> and I have what no the idea fuck what his you... politics is. But I, yeah, because I... JJ doesn't get involved in that shit. He's a, he's a fucking athlete. He knows better. He doesn't want to taint his popularity like Colin Kaepernick with some political bullshit. Oh, I love the guy. And I think part of the reason that they have given him a lot of money is because people care and they're good human beings. And partly because we've become so jaded by our lying politicians mm -hmm. that you have yeah. a, I have a sense that, I, again, not knowing a thing about J.J. Watt, his politics is person. I don't know anything about him, right? Uh, other than he does, he's excellent at defense. Um, is that like you know, uh, chunk? Sense this guy's chunk. Do you even know that JJ Watt fucking plays offense too? Rich, he's in the he's an athlete in the area, and he's actually doing it for the right purposes. Yeah, and he's actually going to get them blankets in a pickup truck, yes. and he's actually going to get them food and things they need. Whereas the six million dollars coming from the government is a good thing. The people of Houston really need it as long as it doesn't go to the companies. But exactly, we don't know. A lot of that money is probably going to get funneled to Exxon Mobil for their oil refineries. Okay, maybe. But uh, I don't know if you know this chunk, but we're having a gas fucking problem here in Texas because people panicked and everybody went and got fucking gas. So maybe we should get these fucking refineries going. Do you think? And we've grown jaded by our incredibly corrupt politicians. Yeah. So when a guy like J.J. Watt does it, they're like, yes, I'll give him money. That makes sense. I think he'll actually give it in aid to the people who need it. Exactly. So I know nothing about J.J. Watt. I didn't even know he existed we know. prior to right now. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but what I love about... What yeah, because these people don't give a fuck about sports ball. Because MMA and... NFL is not the arts. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Okay, so let's listen. What he's doing is that it's illuminating the fact that there are a lot of really great people in this country, probably in other sure. countries. I don't know if they can donate, um, you know, internationally. But how would what would you say, Anna, if I told you that a bunch of those people were fucking Trump voters, women? And I bet you there are. I bet you there's a bunch of them that are fucking Trump voters. Remember how you said, I'm fucking better than you. And I know it. At Globo Gym, we're better than you. And we know it. <laughs> You're so fucking 
God. The fact that he raised that much money is telling, right? I, I think with everything that's going on, with the rhetoric that we're seeing, with the hate rallies that are happening, we lose sight of the fact that there are so many great people who do want to look out for one another. And for anyone... Yeah, and some of them are Trump voters, bitch. Anyone who donated, anyone who's actually part of the relief efforts, who's volunteering their time and their resources, thank you. You know, you give me hope personally, and <laughs> I, I hope we continue taking care of one another. Anna, the one thing that you don't do is give anybody else hope. Because your whole job revolves around fucking hate and bullshit and fucking people, ear fucking people with just complete hooey. Because they don't believe or vote like you do. You're the one that generates this shit to where we don't have any fucking hope. Another. All right, last couple of thoughts on this. I'm now going to uh, trade for the Texans defense in honor of JJ Watt in my fantasy. <laughs> Oh my god, somebody please tell me. Somebody has to be able to find where Ch Chink has a fucking fantasy football league. I'm going to go on record and say, Bullshit! Dah. Man, see right there, he's full of shit. <laughs> he doesn't have, he fucking played fantasy football. Fantasy football team? Uh, and uh, in all seriousness, uh, Donald... you own a football team? <laughs> yeah, I do. No, you don't. It is fantasies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is a fantasy football. Yeah, uh, it's a total. It's a fantasy, like the girl that you said you banged or whatever on prom night. <laughs> he didn't really say that. I'm just, you know, you know what I mean, metaphorically. So, uh, Donald Castle, going back to Donald Trump for a second, he is not rich. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not rich. He's not rich. I just said... I don't know what to say. <laughs> just what the fuck are you talking about? He's not rich. He said that... Wait a minute, wait a minute. If, if he's not rich, why do you claim that he's making business deals with fucking Russia? Oh, because he needs to get rich. Russia's going to make him rich, right? How do you get your... Nobody that has their name on fucking casinos and goddamn skyscrapers is poor. And he has $10 billion. If you have $10 billion, a million dollars is nothing. The fact that he has already retracted his offer to give it out of his own personal money and they're backpedaling out of that... You don't even have a million... If you have $10 billion... You Where's the proof that he ba fucking backpedaled on anything? I need to see that. Somebody fucking drop a link or something. Where did he backpedal? And let's let's just say, since we're going to fucking stand in our ivory tower, Trank, um, and proportionately, if we're going to do this Bernie Sanders, everybody gives their fucking equal fair share, uh, what would be fair for you? Uh, 50 grand? I think Chank Yogurt should fucking come out today, this afternoon, with a fucking $50,000 check and hand it to fucking J.J. Watt. You just disingenuous turd. Person on earth for trying to backpedal out of your million dollar pledge. No, a million dollars for us is all the money in the world. For If you have $10 yeah, million, it's nothing. You. It's Jank. nothing. Do you know, they, they think progress tracked how much money Trump has actually given to charity. It is 0.00013% of his income. Well, that's what Jesus said. 0.00013%. That, that's still probably more money than you've ever seen. So what the fuck are you talking about? This is, See, this is all horse shit. It's smoke and mirrors shit it's to where they bend and fold and they dance around shit. And they try to say, well, he does, he's not rich. But he's only given this teensy part of his money. Well, what number is correct for you, Jank? Let's get Bernie Sanders out here. How much money should Donald Trump give? What's the right number? You should donate. Yes. <laughs> I remember it. I remember that numbers, song. Yeah, numbers two. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks. Download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the. Yeah, a thousand dollars so you can have a direct conversation with Jank. Somebody get me a grand. I want to talk to this turd. Oh.
I don't, actually, I don't. I wouldn't give him a dime to talk to him. Let him find me. Network shows and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join. Okay, so there we have it, folks. I told you it was going to be good. <laughs> this just on so many levels. I mean, and this is just like constant. I don't know why I'm, I feel surprised or shocked or whatever the fuck ever when when they do this stuff. They're just t taking a dump. And when Annika Sparrow says, you know, I wouldn't give any advice to Donald Trump. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? That's part of the problem. That's where our problems are. Is because of people like you. You don't have to be full on conservative. But this just wild shit where you have to hate. You're creating the problem. Yes, we have real issues that we need to talk about in this country that need to get solved. But when you just straight up fucking refuse or lie, nothing's going to get fixed. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, if you like my videos, hit the, uh, hit the like button, hit the bell, whatever. Drop some messages down in the... In the uh, message boxes say hi share my videos um i'm the mad hooter till next time see you later